again, the, the whole idea is to find that perfect balance where, again, like you said, you do nothing. It's almost like everything uh -huh. on momentum. Exactly. Uh huh. Mm hmm. It's a little bit like with wrist motion when we were discussing yeah. if you reduce and you don't really make externally much movement, there's a ghost, like you said, hallucination, uh -huh. the memory of the movement inside. That's what we want to achieve when we do the small interval because we're going to have plenty of small intervals. 90% of the time I'm using elbow motion for changing positions and it's a very small distance. It could be from here to here, from here to here. But I feel the whole movement, the whole amplitude in my elbow. I'm feeling like I'm, I am uh, stopping the movement when I'm doing that. So what you're doing is correct. And what you refer as a stopping movement, sometimes people say as prepare for your jump. Uh, when you jump, you first you jump and then you prepare and then you play. So you hit the right note. But this movement brings your hand to the place where it's supposed to play before you touch the key versus and this is what you refer as a little stop so it's a correct stop and this is stop because you're actually about to make the full roll you stop sort of at six to go through the whole clock and then to play at six so this is absolutely what we want to achieve it's just the elbow arrives to the destination before your wrist, hence preparing your position or your leap. Remember we were talking about there is a combination of active and passive motion. If you're moving your elbow more or less for now in this tempo, if you're moving it just two dimensional, it would not create this momentum. But if you just create a little bit of down movement, then the up will be passive. Uh -huh. Active passive. If you just do this, you don't get much passive. Uh -huh. Sometimes I find it helpful to use a rhythm for the movement. So for example, you can say one and on and it's your passive motion that brings it to the top of the first swing. And then on two, you play six o'clock again. So one and two. One and two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 